Hi year two, it's me again. I hope you're all doing well. I just wanted to say a big well done to anyone who's been on to Seesaw and has posted any of your work. I've been so happy to see that you are trying to grow your brains. This week, I would like all of you to try this activity. It is money. So up here, I've created a little flip chart with some words that are related to money, some words that we think of. So money, when we pay for something in the shop, coins, so lots of coins here, penny or pence, notes, I've got a note here, change, that's something when we pay for something, we'll talk about that when you go shopping, you might hear the word change, Amount could be the price of something. We have price. Value means how much is it? And pound. So we've got pounds, pence. They are some words that might help you later on. Right, for this lesson today, all that you need is a piece of paper, a few pieces of paper and something to write with. So a pencil, a pen or a crayon or anything like that. Um, pause the video if you need to go and grab those things and then press play once you're ready. Right, so today in the maths lesson, we are going to first have a quick recap of some of the previous learning we have done to do with money. So on my iPad here, I'm going to show you some pictures of different coins and notes that we have in Britain as our money and I would like you to shout out at the screen what the value is so how much is it worth oh are you ready so our first coin is can you tell me what this one is please well done if you said 50p or 50 pence and what is this one well done if you said 2p or 2 pence, that is the value of the coin. And what about this one here? Well done, that's 10p, 10 pence. What about this one here? Oh, well done if you said one pound. So this is now we're going into pounds, so one pound. And this coin here? Well done, 5p. And this one here? Well done, this is a two pounds, it's two pounds. That's the coin, two pounds. And this one here? Well done, one penny, one pence or one p. Um, and then I've got some notes, what is this one? Well done, five pounds, it's five pounds. What's this one? Well done, 10 pounds, this one? Well done if you said 20 pounds and this one here. Well done if you said 50 pounds. So those are all the coins and the notes that we have here that we use where we live in Britain. In Britain, that's the money. So pounds and pence are really important. We normally use a P for pence and we use a pound symbol that looks like this. We've already done some of this learning, so it's just something you should already know. So we've just done this as a recap. Now I'm going to go through three levels of challenge. You're again, very used to this. So I'm going to have mild, spicy and hot. Now you can choose the level that you think is challenging enough for you. You can do more than one level, that would be absolutely brilliant. So watch whatever part of the video you want. I will be starting with mild, then I will be going to spicy and then hot. And there will also be worksheets on the school website that relate to this activity. So it'll be what we're doing here today. So get your pen and pencil ready and let's get started. So we're gonna start with mild. So if I went to the shop and I wanted to buy this apple, the price is 8p. Now I only have 20p, so I've only got a 20p coin. I've got one here somewhere. So I've only got a 20p coin. And 
if I give the shopkeeper the 20p, have I given him too much money? So the number 20, is 20 bigger or smaller than the number eight? Is 20 more or less than eight? Well done, 20 is more than eight. I've given the shopkeeper too much money. So the shopkeeper needs to give me back some money and that's what we call change. So today our learning challenge is to find change. So I've got a little shop set up down here and that's something you can do after the video to do lots of practice. You could practice with somebody in your house. What you could do is find some items, get some paper or I've used post-it notes and I put prices on it and then you could play shops. One of you could be the person who's shopping and one could be the shopkeeper. It would be really good practice. For now, I'm just going to use the items I've got. So I've got my apple and my apple costs 8p and I'm going to pay with 20p and I need to work out my change. Today, the strategy that I want all of us to use is counting on. So up here, I have put 8p because 8p is my price of my item and that I'm going to pay with 20p. And here I have drawn a blank number line, so just a line, which you can all do. For this one, I'm going to show you how to do it. And the next two, I'm going to ask you to try. So that's where you will need your paper and pen. So make sure you've also got that with you now. If you haven't, just pause this video and go and grab it. Okay, so I'm paying with 8p. So on my number line, this end is where the smaller number goes. So I'm going to write 8p and I pay with 20p. So I'm going to count on until I get to 20 and that is going to tell us the change or that tells us the difference. But when calculating change using counting on, that will help us find the change. So 8p and we need to count on until we get to 20. Now we could count up in ones, that would take us a bit longer. We could count up in twos, most of you should be able to do that. So for today, I think we're going to count up in twos. So if I'm on the number eight and I count up, so I add two, what number will I land on? Eight plus two, eight, am I counting on two? Eight, nine, 10. So I'm going to write the 10 and the added two. I'm just writing it up there. Now I'm on 10p. Now I can continue to jump in two. So I'm on the number 10, what comes next if I add two? 12, let's keep going, 14, counting up in twos, well done, 16, 18, 20. Oh, stop, because I need to get to 20p. Each time I was adding 2p, I'm just writing it up here to help me, to remind me. And now what I need to do is see how many twos. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six groups of two or two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So eight plus, we started on eight, we added twelve equals twenty. So our change is what we're trying to find is 12p. You could have counted up in ones, you could have counted up in ones. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That was 10 and 2, which is 12. Some of you might have added your 2p till you got to 10p and then might have thought, I know 10 plus 10 is 20. Whichever way you did it, well done. The answer, the change is 12p. Right, now we have another one here. What's my next item? Here I have a pencil and it costs 11p. Again, I only have 20p that I want to pay with. 
So I'm going to use a blank number line and the counting on method. So again, my smaller number 11p is what I'm paying the item cost, sorry. 11p is the cost of the item. I pay with a 20 with 20p. So now I need to count on until I get to 20. Now, again, we could use our number line and do our jumps, counting on in ones or twos or whatever you feel comfortable with. Another way I could do it is I'm going to write 11 plus something, my empty box, equals 20. Hmm, now, a lot of you should know your number bonds to 20, so we can use our knowledge of number bonds to 20 to help us work this out. If you don't know your number bonds to 20, I'm sure you know your number bonds to 10, and again, that can help us out. 11 plus what is 20? I'm going to start by counting on from 11 in ones until I get to 20. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm just going to write my numbers on here. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I counted up in ones, so I was adding one each time. What change will I get if I give the shopkeeper 20p if my item costs 11p? Well, let's count up our ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the change would be 9p. Well done if you knew this mentally. 11 plus 9 equals 20. Right, the next item I would like you to work out the change for is this fan. It costs 13p and again I'm going to pay with 20p. Can you please use the counting on method and the empty number line to work out the change that I would need to get? So I'd like you to pause the video and with your piece of paper and pen, try and work it out. So the item's 13p, I pay with 20p, how much change will I get? Right, I hope you've tried to work that out and now I'm just going to show you. So keep watching to see if you were right. If you made a mistake, don't worry about it. Remember, we learn from our mistakes, so make sure you're concentrating now. So if you did make a mistake, you know the correct way to do it. Okay, so 13p. I pay with 13p. I'm going to put that on this end of my number line. And I'm going to count on in ones until I get to 20. Some of you may have done this. 13 plus something, maybe use your knowledge of number bonds, equals 20. I'm going to show you on the number line, 13. So we're counting up in ones, we can all do that together. The next number, what comes after 13? 14, keep going. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm going to stop there because I paid with a 20p. I were counted up in ones. Let me see how many ones I counted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So my change that I need to get back is 7p. 13 plus seven equals 20. Well done if you got that correct. Give yourself a big pat on the back. If you didn't, don't worry. Just watch the video again if you need to and practice if you need to just try a few more times, that's absolutely fine.